The Blaine Amendment was first a failed amendment to the U.S. Constitution and then several enacted provisions in 38 of the 50 state constitutions in the United States. These provisions forbid direct government aid to educational institutions that have a religious affiliation. They were designed to prohibit aid to parochial schools, especially those operated by the Catholic Church in locations with large immigrant populations. The Blaine Amendment emerged from a growing consensus among Protestants that public education must be free from sectarian or denominational control, and from nativist tendencies hostile to immigrants. Proposed federal amendment President Ulysses S. Grant in a speech in 1875 to a veterans' meeting, called for a constitutional amendment that would mandate free public schools and prohibit the use of public money for sectarian schools. He was echoing nativist sentiments that were strong in his Republican Party. Grant laid out his agenda for good common school education. He attacked government support for sectarian schools", run by religious organizations, and called for the defense of public education, "...unmixed with sectarian, pagan or atheistical dogmas." Grant declared that, "...church and state," should be, "...forever separate." Religion, he said, should be left to families, churches, and private schools devoid of public funds. After Grant's speech, Republican Congressman James G. Blaine (1830–1893) proposed the amendment to the federal constitution. Blaine, who actively sought Catholic votes when he ran for president in 1884, believed that possibility of hurtful agitation on the school question should be ended. In 1875, the proposed amendment passed by a vote of 180 to 7 in the House of Representatives, but failed by four votes to achieve the necessary two-thirds vote in the United States Senate. It never became federal law. The proposed text was No state shall make any law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, and no money raised by taxation in any state for the support of public schools, or derived from any public fund therefore, nor any public lands devoted thereto, shall ever be under the control of any religious sect, nor shall any money so raised or lands so devoted be divided between religious sects or denominations. <laughs> <laughs> Amendments to state constitutions Supporters of the proposal then turned their attention to state legislatures, where their efforts met with far greater success. Eventually, all but ten states Arkansas, Connecticut, Maine, Maryland, New Jersey, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Vermont, and West Virginia passed laws that meet the general criteria for designation as Blaine Amendments, in that they ban the use of public funds to support sectarian private schools. In some states the provisions in question were included in newly drafted constitutions, rather than adopted as amendments to an existing constitution. The state Blaine amendments remain in effect in many states. In 2012, 46% of voters endorsed a measure repealing Florida's Blaine Amendment. A 60% margin was required for adoption. Voters have also rejected proposals to repeal their state-level Blaine amendments in New York 1967, Michigan 1970, Oregon 1972, Washington State 1975, Alaska 1976, Massachusetts 1986, and Oklahoma 2016. On April 1, 1974, voters in Louisiana approved a new constitution by a margin of 58 to 42 percent, which repealed the Blaine Amendment that was part of that state's 1921 constitution. Louisiana's current 1974 constitution replaced it with a copy of the Federal First Amendment's No Establishment and Free Exercise Clauses, in Article 1, Sec. 8 of its Declaration of Rights, in Article 8, Sec. 13. A. It also guarantees the provision of free textbooks and materials of instruction to all children attending elementary and secondary schools in Louisiana. Two other states, South Carolina and Utah, have also watered down their no aid to religion", constitutional clauses by removing from them the word, "...indirect", leaving only a prohibition of direct aid or assistance to religious schools in these states. See also Public funding of parochial schools Separation of church and state Trinity Lutheran Church of Columbia, Inc. v. Comer Notes 
Topic: <laughs> Further reading. De Forest, Mark Edward. An Overview and Evaluation of State Blaine Amendments, Origins, Scope, and First Amendment Concerns. Harvard Journal of Law and Public Policy, Vol. 26, 2003 in Questia Green, Stephen K. The Blaine Amendment Reconsidered. 36 M. J. Legal Hist. 38 External links The Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty A leading opponent of Blaine Amendments in the legal arena Blaney Amendments. Org A comprehensive resource by the Beckett Fund, which seeks to overturn the amendments school choice, the Blaine Amendments and Anti-Catholicism Report by the United States Commission on Civil Rights.